Today I'm going to show you how to assemble and install a prop saver on a motor and how to install a propeller on a prop saver. The prop saver itself consists of a round piece of metal with a hole in the center, two screws which go in either side of the prop saver, and o-rings, usually one or two, uh, to hold the prop on. One to hold the prop on and one spare. Let's assemble the prop saver. We take the screws and we insert them in both sides of the prop saver. We don't want to tighten them all the way in. Just tighten them in enough so that they stay. Now, we're going to put the prop on the prop saver before we put the prop saver on the motor shaft. Pick up the prop saver, and you'll notice that one side of the prop saver is narrower than the other side. When you put your prop on the prop saver, you want it to sit firmly. You don't want it to slide from side to side. If we try to put it on this side, it it will not it will not fit so we're going to put it on the other side the narrower side put the prop on the prop saver with the back of the prop against the prop saver now take one of the o-rings and hook it over one of the screws this may take a few tries depending on how often you've done it Drape the O-ring across the prop, stretch it across the propeller, and hook it around the other screw. Now we're going to put the prop saver on the motor. We're using a little Emacs CF motor, most commonly used with this type of setup. We slip the prop saver down over the motor shaft. Loosen up the screws a little bit so that it'll slide, slide down enough. In order for the prop saver to work perfectly, you do not want the prop to actually be on the shaft itself. You only want it on the prop saver. You want the prop saver secured to the shaft, but you want to have a little bit of uh, uh, leeway for the propeller itself. And I'll show you why in a moment. So we're going to tighten up the screws on the prop saver around the shaft here. Start with one side, screw it all the way in until it's tight, and then the other side. Now the prop saver is secure on the shaft. When the motor spins and spins the prop, the propeller will stay in place. In the event of a prop strike, the, motor, the propeller will bend away from the prop saver, therefore hopefully resulting in a lot less damage to the propeller itself. That's why you don't want the propeller to be over the shaft itself because then it won't have that same flexibility and the propeller will break. So that's the basics of using a prop saver.